The average age of a group of sports fans is 40. If the average age of the females is 35, and the average age of the males is 50, what is the ratio of the number of females to males? So for review, to find the average age of a group, we would sum their ages and divide by the number of people. We'll begin by defining the variables to represent the unknowns, and for this problem we'll have four unknowns. We'll first let f be equal to the number of females, m be equal to the number of males, and because we're working with averages, we'll let a equal the sum of the female ages, and b be equal to the sum of the male ages. And because we're looking for the ratio of the number of females to males, we're looking for the ratio of f to m, which we can also write in fraction form as f divided by m. And now we're going to write three equations from the given information. So first, the average age of the group of sports fans is 40, which means the sum of the female ages plus the sum of the male ages divided by the number of females and males must equal 40. So as an equation, we would have the quantity a plus b divided by the quantity f plus m must equal 40. Next, we're told the average age of the females is 35, which means the sum of the female ages, which is a, divided by the number of females, which is f, must equal 35. And then finally, we're also told the average age of the males is 50, which means the sum of the male ages, which is b, divided by the number of males, which is m, must equal 50. And now from here, we're going to clear the fractions from each of these equations. One way to do this would be to write these averages as a fraction with the denominator of 1 and then cross multiply. So for this first equation, if we cross multiply, we would have the quantity a plus b times 1 must equal 40 times the quantity f plus m. Let's go ahead and write that out. We have the quantity a plus b must equal 40 times the quantity f plus m. If we cross multiply in the second equation, we would have a times 1 must equal 35 times f. So a equals 35f. And for our third equation, we'd have b times 1 must equal 50 times m. So b equals 50m. So now from here, if we can form an equation that contains just f and m, we can solve the equation for f divided by m to find the ratio of the number of females to males. So notice how because a equals 35f, we can substitute 35f for a in the first equation. And because b equals 50m, we can substitute 50m for b in the first equation. That'll give us one equation with just f and m. So performing the substitution, we would have 35f plus b is 50m must equal, let's go ahead and distribute here. So we'd have 40f plus 40m. Now for the next step, let's get the f terms on one side and the m terms on the other. So let's begin by subtracting 35f on both sides. And let's also subtract 40m on both sides. And now when we simplify, this would be 0. So we have 50m minus 40, and that's 10m equals, on the right side we have 40f minus 35f, that's 5f. Now for the next step, let's go ahead and solve this for f by dividing both sides by 5. So now we have 2m equals 1f or f. Now again, we're looking for the ratio of f to m, so now we'll divide both sides by m. Now on the right here, remember m over m simplifies to 1 over 1, so this is equal to 2, but as a ratio it would be 2 to 1 equals f to m. So now we know the ratio of females to males is 2 to 1. Which means we don't know how many females and how many males are in this group of sports fans, but we do know that for every two females, there's exactly one male, or there are twice as many females as there are males, 
in this sports group. Now let's go ahead and write this out as a complete sentence. The ratio of the number of females to males is, remember a ratio can be written three ways. We could say the ratio is two to one, or we could say two colon one, or we could say in fraction form two to one. These are three different ways to write the same ratio. I hope you found this helpful.